and lots of information folks from real fast we're looking at this object up here and we have to zoom in remember stereo ahead h1 we're going to be going to a lot of different shots on this video and getting some information put in here uh, you you glue in on this and I'll have it playing in a minute too and basically you're going to see this go in fuego okay basically and then this is vast amount of space and do not believe that you're looking at this it's all mirrors okay and it's not when I say smoke and mirrors how they use how the twist gets put on but it's basically they're not trying to twist you but at the same time we can see anything with satellites and it's a group in the area that we're looking at and it's not your normal area that you think you're going to go oh well that's that position and no, it's not because they if I've already showed you that they move the satellite around they can twist it 360 degrees like a bubble like a eyeball on a goldfish bowl okay so no matter what that's what we're looking at okay and that's what's going to go in fuego and I just I just do the thing with the magnifier so you know that I'm getting in on the shot okay there's no smoke and mirrors we're in on that shot and we're looking at that now this is what you're going to see happen okay you see that okay and then I could it just basically you get and or nor gate and or nor gate okay uh, anyway I can't say what American electrical experts in the military call that that's a army mule secret and I just want to say hi to my mountain man Merry Christmas and Happy New Year if I don't see you and your wife so and I nail it down to the exact winner 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 steak dinner okay there's no winner winner chicken dinner at my house it's steak dinner and I want to say hi to all the cattle barons and all the sugar barons in the world so anyway uh, this is the sun over here, okay? And then it does a CME and it's blocked out by the blue highlight. Now I hit the I'll play button and we'll go along here. Now we're at a different angle. You see, on the sun, 360 degrees with mirrors. And you get that there and it's the same object and that's the explosion in the, in the captures locked at that. And I go up to it and there you go. And no, it's not a comet. It didn't. It wasn't a comet going streaking by or anything like that. But it was electrical energy. So it could be a small particles of an asteroid in an electrical energy that I know how to travel through time and space now. And basically, uh, my site's not going to be free much longer. And I've been saying that for a long time, but pretty much, I think I'm just going to nail it down to. The new year, it's going to start costing a minimal amount, and it's non-profit. And basically, because basically, I'm going to give you earth-shattering information here in this video. Okay, so no matter what, that is what happens there. And give you a little bit more sitting for a second, but you can always watch on. You always want to watch on full screen. Okay, so we're at at a head, H1, two, and we can pretty much you can see 360 degrees in massive distance on each one of these satellites so you're normally just to fix what they show us all the time so I know we can see 360 degrees in the ocean of space on each one of them all the way across because they just zoom in okay so and if you notice the pixels when I was you can go back to the beginning of the video and you'll see the pixels where they put the shots together and it's all done with lasers and they know exactly where everything's at so they know what this planets and stuff is but I'm basically figuring out what this stuff is so as we play the video you can see that that basically what blew up. Now this is a different shot. You see, different times. You got to watch the clocks and where the uh, angles are at. Even though if the time matches, the satellite has spun around and, and looked at its shot and so forth and so on. That was farther out. You see, so we zoomed in. You see what I'm saying? And they zoomed in. Okay, and we zoomed in on their zoom in. And they can do that too. Okay. It's not done with smoke and mirrors, it's done with mirrors. And then it's done with uh, software to uh, view 360 degrees. Okay, and the laser, and they basically nail down where every planet's at. Now that's what we're going to do, as you see, I'm not really, that was my on my recording. See, now that's basically, I'm going to freeze this. That's the angle that uh, B is looking at, okay, behind. Now, I believe we started off with, uh, oh, I don't want to mess up the recording and, uh, and stuff like that. We started off with what we, wherever I, sh what I showed you. Even if I stated it wrong, 
we started off with what the shot was saying it was at. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and hit play. And basically, uh, and don't worry about exit this at all. It's not going to hit Earth. It's far enough away. The only thing we have to 84 uh, in two, uh, 2013, 13th through the 16th. That's the only, way, and it's going to be as close as 16,000 miles to Earth. So yes, that's what they're smoking and mirroring on that. That's power and control. Okay, so watch your eight magneticals, and from this angle, we get more from a certain shot, and I'll tell you when we get there. But remember that this was the angle that more than likely that the satellite was sitting at, but it can go 360 degrees, just like that little arrow there and that yellow thing, in space. It can look around all over the place, and it can see vast. It can zoom in and go all the way across and give us a shot from the ap absolute up other side of ACE, okay? Because basically that's what behind. This is behind's angle, what it was looking, okay? But it can still go 360 degrees. Now remember, we can see everything 360 degrees, okay? I'm going to pull this back a little bit. You should be able to see Pluto here. If I bring it back, there's Pluto. You can also get Neptune in this on your JP player and everything. So you basically can see, when you play around with the JP player and you can see every planet, we can see the, every planet with the uh, satellites. They, if they want to take and waste the fuel and the energy, they can turn around and look at Mars on the back side of... Uh, I don't have JP player up right now. I'm actually working off a video. So... What we'll do is we'll move ahead here a little bit and try to, but basically they can go and zoom in. They can zoom all the way across space and look at something behind ACE from the angle of B, which basically this was pretty much the angle of B, 360 degrees. You see, they could end up showing you Jupiter on the other side. Okay, so we're going to get way ahead in this video and pull up another video. And you got to remember the heights at certain shots, okay? And this is the path of the sun here, and then that's the sun. And this is just a little bit of a description of sh showing you the angles that they can sh shoot at, and they can do it 360 degrees, okay? You don't have to worry about Taunus either. Every six years it orbits around by Earth, and it's not going to hit us, okay? Not for like 179 years or something like that. It could even get close, okay? And it's only five kilometers. We have the ability right now that we could destroy it if we had to. I'm surprised we ain't doing a mission to get on it. But then again, we might possibly. And the the XR X37 is going back up, so it'll probably get into some beautiful shots of it. All right. Now, basically, as you've seen this from behind H1, I was able on the red to be able to show you that and then you see your magneticals here so we're going to get I got to hurry up and get to the other video and combine this together because I knew that uh, you'll be able to back up and go to this or go to JP player and go to Java and you'll be able to get everything that I'm going to show you on the next portion of this video because no matter what See, they zoomed in on it humongous. This is the same thing that I showed you at the beginning that reacted. Okay, it did a CME reactive flare to something. Okay, but as you see, it was stuck. It was something. It's basically the same thing that I zoomed into a long time ago. And I'll, I'll, when I get on the, the next video that I do, I will show you my video that I showed you the footage where I found that. And once I found that, then they started doing this stuff to look at that and then my friends too on the internet and thank you and I'm not saying no names thank you for sending me this video to be able to ch check all this out just remember each one of these satellites can go 360 degrees and can look across space as you just saw there and then I'm going to go to the eight magneticals and we'll go to the other video that I got put up on that and see this is what we're going to be studying okay and I'll hit pause on this and I can take the magnifier out now what you're going to understand is that you're going to see a massive object that's here up by the Sun and this is not this here is Mercury this here is Venus because from a head H12 you have to remember those are the two biggest things that'll look big because they're close to the satellite they're close to stereo ahead H12 so now all that footage was off of B and I think I did show you ACE to begin with you'll have to start the video all the way to the beginning and see if that's what I was looking at if I was looking at ACE okay so we're at ACE and when I say B, then we're at B, we're right behind, okay? But this is the ACE, this is, the rest of this video is going to be all from a head H12. And as you can see, we can count all the magneticals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight. And no matter what, you're going to have to go to JP Player, and you're going to have to realize that the only thing that this could possibly be, it might be Mars, okay? Maybe Mars, but it's highly unlikely because Mars should be, but it, it, there is a slight possibility that it could be, but when you count out, you go basically uh, Mercury's the closest to the Sun, Venus, Earth, this is our object that they basically won't want us to look at because they keep whitening out on shots, and then that's why the friend gave me this footage, and then the idea that Earth should be uh, this here, this should be Earth, because this is Venus, this is Mercury. Now this might be Mars, either that or it's something that I told everybody, hey, we found a planet on the other side, we never could see it, because the Hubble telescope cannot look at it because it can't look towards the sun. It has to do certain angles to be able to look at stuff that's close to the sun. The only thing that can look at it is A and B, okay? Ahead one and, and B and then all the cameras that are on both of those satellites and then we have Spitzer and all that stuff like that. They can look at the sun too and stuff like that, but they have to always wait for certain positions and everything like that. So they compress, use mirrors, and they can see 360 degrees in a bubble of everything. And you see that you got the eight magneticals, okay? So we're going to zoom in on this because this is what they're blocking and, and don't want everybody to freak out on Earth, which basically we should be hella fine. More than likely, this is ISON or DA14. And it more than likely is ISON. And then ISON is going to get huge, and people are going to be able to pull religious and cultural bullshit and everything like that saying there's two suns which more than likely it's just a comet. It's a huge object in space. And as you can see how huge it looks from, it's got everybody concerned. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Earth and the moon here. And basically I'll zoom in on that really fast since I just have it at this, I can show you. And basically I have to work everything off the magnetic. Uh, and basically I'll have to point with the, I'll have to point with the uh, magnifier handle. Now that's the moon out away from Earth that's a little dark spot to the right of the line and then hopefully I can get it adjusted here enough to be able to see Earth and I won't say it's Earth until I get on it and I have to play around with this I'm not there yet I'll tell you when I get on it and the technology I know that they do not want they it's really they're really fighting with me not to get this out there okay now as you can see the glow and then that I'm basically on the magnetical line of Earth, and basically that's the Earth to the right of the end of that uh, magnifying lens. And then the little dark spot that's right up, I'm getting pretty good. It, it, I'm on the left side of the line, but the moon is over there. Okay, either that or that's something else too that's not too far away from Earth. But no matter what, that's Earth's magnetical line that I'm on, and that is basically Earth right there. Okay, and that's our atmosphere and everything our plasma. I'm on top of it right now. That's Earth with my magnetic, on our magnetic, magnetical, okay, with a magnifying glass, okay. Now I pop out of that, and then I'm going to go to the other video because I think I'll have some better footage of it, okay. Okay, so no matter what, I had my original magnifier on this video is sitting by Venus, okay, that's Venus. Now no matter what, this object that we're looking at that's to the left of this magnifying lens, the big one, that object between us and Earth, which Earth is way over here in the corner, okay, just above the O on on the advertising there, which I don't advertise. They ain't giving me mon any money yet. They're going to do it non-profit if they do. And basically, the sun's over here. You know, the sun is over to the right in the black. And then that's our object, because that's not just the sun right there, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is huge, and that's not the sun. Uh, there's a possibility that it might be the sun, because it's they're showing you the umbilical so it possibly could be the sun, but then it's the first time we've ever seen the sun like that, okay? Now, I can't zoom out on this because I have to hit play, but no matter what, you can see the pixels, okay? And Mercury's the one where the uh, big magnifying glass is at. The little magnifying glass is just because I got the magnifier up. So the object there is also pixeled, so you know they're doing it with lasers, and since Earth is right over here by the O, okay, that... And I can do it like this, and I think it gets rid of everything when I did that, I guess, on the software. And let me hit this full screen, so basically, I think I can go as much as we can. So, no matter what, Earth is over here above the O on the magnetical line. That is Venus for absolute sure, and this is Mercury for absolute sure. And no matter what, we finally get what they can actually see, the sun, or there is a planet on a magnetical 
because this is basically the sun's magnetical right